What if the Nigerian military calls on you to fight the war? Would you join? <laughs> what if the Nigerian military calls on you to fight the war? Would you join? No. Why did he even bat on that? No. No guy. Serve in what, please? To fight the war. Yeah. Against who? For what purpose? Why? What year? What alternate reality are we imagining? I won't join. If it, if it is free will, I won't join. If it's compulsory, then I have to. For what reason? Do I look like somebody that is capable of that kind of labor? Never experienced that emotion. God bless those guys who are doing their thing on behalf of the country. I pray you guys, you know, God keeps you safe. Christians and Muslims, everyone. But um, I probably would not fight. I probably would not go anywhere. Near. I would probably go in the other direction. I'm just not built for that. They made a mistake. It's not my immediate tire of the court. There are many, I'm sure there are many immediate tires in Nigeria. I don't think it's my immediate tire of the court. It's a mistake. Why? Because it's not possible. So what do you feel about Nigerian military? The Nigerian military, they're the bomb. They're doing their thing against Boko Haram. They've done their thing with Echo Wars over the years. They're nice. You know, they're trying. But you know, Nigerian institutions have their mistakes and mess, mess ups once in a while. And the Nigerian army is not... Uh, uh, how would I say above that? They to have their own faults. So, can yeah. you cite one of these faults? Uh, the deal with Boko Haram, where they supposed to give them the ammunition and whatever they needed to fight Boko Haram, the money was em allegedly embezzled. Come on, man. Well, I've not seen them fight a battle before, a, a war rather. But from what I've seen of them, like the ones that mix with, with civilians and all that, they are shit. Terrible people. I mean, they try with all the Boko, you know, you know. Big ups to the guys fighting the Boko Haram and everything, but generally speaking, uh, fuck all Nigerian institutions, government institutions. Okay, from what I see, you like they take their power for granted. Mm. I feel like they take a lot of things for granted. Like they feel entitled. The military is meant to be a disciplined whatever, and you're walking on the streets and okay, you're trying to get into a bus and then. A military man just feels so entitled to like cut you off or not even pay for his fare and everything. So, nah, man, I won't join the military. Okay, you said he's not your military that you called. Yes. So, if Nigeria decides to make it mandatory that you should fight in a war, yes. Keyword mandatory. Uh, would you go? No. No, that's two times. No, two that's, times. That's jail time. You would be in prison for. For not going to do I won't go to prison. I can't because by end of, before they even call my name, I'll move to Benin Republic. So I'll move to Ghana and call myself Mensa or Kofi because I'm not so fighting for Nigeria. So you change your nationality? Gladly. I'm considering changing my nationality now, but in terms of war, I'm definitely changing my nationality. What, what's your opinion on um, wars? Well, like what was he? Yeah, <laughs> yeah like what was he? Like what do I want? I, I've never experienced any war. I just watch it on movies and I've, I heard of civil war, but. But I think it would be great if we can avoid war and let all live in peace. Wars are horrible things. And, and I don't know. War is a very terrible thing that nobody should ever have to experience. And they are crap. They are rubbish. Nobody should fight. Have you seen that documentary? That Biafra documentary? That shit is ridiculous, man. Like, war, war is a no-no, man. And if wars can be avoided, if wars can be raised from like humanity entirely. I don't feel like they're necessary at this day and age. Just talk it out, man. Just talk. Have a conversation. It's nothing that can't be worked out with words. If you go and give soldiers weapons to fight with, what will I go and fight the enemy with? And God forbid, it's somewhere like so a country like North Korea yeah. or China. That's your death is sure. So why do I want to die for a country that doesn't want, that doesn't do anything for me? So I'd rather move to a neighboring country like Ghana and chill. For the record, give us your answer. Can you give your life for? No, I cannot give my life for Nigeria. I'm very sorry. I like this life I'm living. Even though it's not the best right now because of Nigeria, because of Nigerian factors, I like to stay alive. For the people, yeah. 
for Nigeria. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I can give my life for Nigeria. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This is actually hilarious. Give my life for who? How are you even not laughing? If you guys are, if you're, <laughs> how are you guys not cracking the fuck up? What? I ain't giving my life for shit. Right. Hell no. Nah. You You're welcome. Yeah, what? Yeah. I can't even give my salary to it. <laughs> <laughs> Talk less of my life. What? Ah. Yeah. Stop it, okay?